Hello, welcome and namaste. Today I'm going to teach a class which is a little bit more advanced. So if you already practice with my yoga videos for quite a while and you have the feeling now it can go to the next level, then this class I think is a good class for you. Um, yeah, so I started my yoga career with Vinyasa Flow and I still love Flow. And so I try to um, combine my moves or I create flow in my typical kind of uh, way of moving. And uh, I would like to share that with you because I thought maybe I can make a kind of a um, sun salutation. I create a sun salutation maybe in my own form and I would like to call it wave salutation because um, for my opinion uh, we are beings made from water and so I think wave salutation just to move the water in the body is quite a nice uh, expression for this kind of sequence. Um, so <clears throat> we don't uh, use so much time to go into details so if you already practice with me you will know what to do and yeah, then let's start. Find in your seat, just uh, go in contact with your body by stroking your legs with the fingertips. Feel the skin of your legs. Feel the touch. Also do this with your hands, with your arms. Just go in contact with your body. As you're washing your hands, just rub your hands a little bit. And then go with your fingertips to your head and tap your head to wake up a little bit more. Take your fingers to your forehead and stroke your forehead, widen your forehead with the stroke of your fingers. And then take your eyebrows and form them between your thumb and your pointing finger. Take your middle finger and your pointing finger and rub your ears a little bit. Just wake up your senses. Good. And then put your hands in front of your knees and let your awareness sink deep into your body and feel. Become more aware of your body sitting on the mat. Everything down your belly is sinking deeply into the ground and everything above your belly is going rising upwards. Become aware of your breath and breathe without any pause, conscious and connected. In a loop and the inhalation is slightly more active. The exhalation is releasing. Try to keep this pattern during the whole practice and be aware if there are moments when you stop the breathing. Always find back to the rhythm of your breath. 
carrying you through your practice, always giving your feedback. Five more. Open your eyes, stay with your focus inside, just your eyes are open. Let, put your hands together, Namaste. Put your hands on the top of your head, pull the elbows more together and rise up. Pause this movement, lengthen your tummy. Imagine your tailbone and your head would like to reach more towards each other. Then lift your arms up and imagine there is a rope and you pull the rope. Put your right hand arm onto your right leg. Push the leg a little bit down. Pull the, leg, uh, the left hand up. Good. Put your right hand beside. Take your left leg and push the foot into your hand. Feel a stretch. Play with the stretch. Forward, right ribs go out. Make yourself round and see how far can, how close can you bring your leg to your face. Good. And then pull the left leg back like an archer. The right hand pushes a little bit, gives a resistance to your right leg. Good. And then check your hip mobility. Grab with the right hand and circle a little bit your leg. Maybe baby cradle. Just sense into it what you need. Gentle movements and your breath flowing. Maybe you shake how a half lotus would be today. It's very early in the state of the practice, but some of you can you do it. Just feel if you can do it. Do it. Right hand to the right. And you put your left leg um, out of the right leg in turn, come with your left elbow to the floor and push a little bit, pulsating into your right hand. Left ear, left shoulder, and left ribs are turning. Good, come up again, grab your left leg, push again. Right hand, grab the head and pull your right elbow to the ceiling. Good, right hand, stretch apart. Leave your left foot and bring it down. Left elbow to the floor. Bring your right shoulder forward so that your right ribs are turning. Reach out with your right arm to your left foot. Pulse. Right hand can grab your left foot and you see if you can turn a little bit. And you can create bigger movements so that you can feel which direction are you turning. Come into a forward bend. Spine rolls here. And then come up. 
Right hand to the floor, left hand kick. And you take both feet here. And you bring your left foot in front of you. You come to the other side, kick into your right hand. Play with the movement. You push the foot forward, left ribs go out. And bring your right seat to the floor and massage your leg and bring it more close to your face. You can round your back here. Good. And then make an arch up, pull it back, and this hand can, you know, push a little bit against your left um, leg. Good. And then here. Circle it a little bit and see how it works on this side. Just listen to your body all the time. Maybe baby cradle. Check difference on both sides. Breathe into the stretch. Check low lotus. Okay, and then come out again. Whoosh. Left hand to the left side, right foot above your left leg. Elbow down. Spiraling here, right ribs are turning, left hand is pushing into the floor. And the right forearm is pulling back. Good, come up again. Grab your right foot. And let it go to the floor. Good. Bring the left shoulder forward. You can push the foot forward and push with the left hand the thigh more outwards. Good. Right hand um, forearm to the floor. Left arm reaches to your right toes. Make a turn. You can play with the movement and you can move your whole body, you know, you can go into your own way of movement, of creativity, of expression. I would like to encourage you to do that. Come to a forward bend, spine moves. And then come up again, left hand up, right hand grab your foot, both hands grab the foot. And then bring your, the soles of your foot together, like a butterfly here, some movements. Good. Hands to the back and little movements here. Push the belly a little bit more forward. <clears throat> I go to this side now to demonstrate. Good. Right leg touches the left leg and you roll this back. And you create now soft movements with grace, in a flow like your breath, you don't stop, good, left leg to the ground, reach out with your right arm, lift up, right leg, beside your left leg, pulsate.
Left forefoot to the arm ground, push here. Feel the stretch on your right side here. Good. Bring the knee back, the top of the foot, and come back. Right hand to the ground, left leg on the right. Reach out with the left hand, left hand to the floor. Grab with the left hand your right forearm. Perfect. Right knee to the floor, right to top of the foot. Sit down, left arm, lift up, come back again. Push the belly forward, lean your head backwards, come into a back bend. Good, and then the other direction, grab your knees, your chins, and make yourself a little round faster. Lift your head up, come into a seat cross leg position, bring your groins a little bit back, reach out forward, and your fingertips come to the floor, look forward, come on um, our fours, knees are more than hip wide, go forward, backward. Left foot to the ground and turn to the left. Back, change to the other side, like in a flow. Come back to the middle. Let your ribs glide from side to side. And make a circle with your rib cage to the other direction. And back to the middle. Left foot to the floor. Feel the stretch on the sole of your foot. Lift your knee up. Left hand, fingertips. Left knee. Lift your left knee, cycle, and you move the whole body. Left foot forward. Right foot to the left side of the mat. Forward, backwards. Come back again. Left leg, push to the side. Reverse cross, look over your shoulder, push the right hand. You would like to see your left foot come. Left foot to the ground. Sit down, lift your left arm up. And then push into the left foot so that you lift up, stretch your right leg. Go down and up again. And down. Right knee to the floor, left foot to the left side of the mat, come back in all fours. Forward backwards, give your wrists a little stretch here. Make the distance a little bit wider so that the hip is not here, it's a little bit slightly in front of the knee. Good. Let your groin sink, but stay a little active here, lifting your tail a little up. Go forward with a long belly. Push yourself up around in a wave shape. One more. Next time you come up, push yourself back. Make your belly long. Always look to your hands in the front. Come back on all fours, right toes up. 
Right knee up. Right hand can come off on fingertips and then you lift your right leg up and you are cycling. And the whole body is moving. Imagine you are water and you practice in water. Right foot to the right hand, left foot to the right mat. Fall backward. Good. Come back again. Right foot up and Reverse cross, see your left foot coming. Right foot, oh sorry, right foot. Right foot is going down. Sit here. Lift up. Go down. Very easy, gentle, playful. Left knee to the ground and you go back to the middle. From here, toes on the ground, push yourself up and push your hands forward. One hand is pushing, one hand is pulling. Create soft, gentle movements. Feel which hand is getting lighter. Move the whole body, move the water in your body, the liquidity. Good. Turn both legs on the forefoot to the right. Go very much backwards and feel the connection from your left hand to your right foot. Good, and then come back again to the middle, turn directly to the other side, three times, stay here, very deep, good, and come back. <coughs> From here, move forward in little steps. More than hip wide, and here you can slide your hands and light eggs on the ground. Slide your hands back, put the top of your hands on the floor, push into the floor. Try to stretch your legs a little more, challenge yourself here a little bit. Feel your back is going round, feel the stretch on the spine, in the back of the ribs, and feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Good, and then you slide your hands forward, it's half of the forward bend. And from here, slide your hands to your uh, ankles. <laughs> Let yourself hang and roll up, half spine rolls round. Come forward with a long belly. Dive deep with a long belly, go round. One more. And then you roll up completely. Roll your shoulders. Roll your arms, roll your whole body. Hands upwards, reach out, stretch your flanks. Good. <clears throat> From here, you come with the weight of your right foot. Left foot is going light. Good. <clears throat> Lift your left leg up to the side. Grab your left leg. Push down your right hand. 
good. If you want it a little bit more challenging, you can do a touchdown. <laughs> touchdown. And pull yourself up. Another one. Good. If you want more, grab inside from your leg. Stretch your leg. Good. <clears throat> Leave your leg and then bring it reverse cross behind your turn your torso. Go deep and up. A little bit like belly. Go down, arms up, go to the left. Touch maybe to the right. And back to the middle. Turn your back to the torso. Left foot is going to the front. And down, slowly, slowly beside your left, right foot. Good. We come to the other side first. A little bit of stretching here. See how the ribs are gliding in the liquid structure of your fascia. Arms to the side. Balance on your left foot. Grab your right knee, knee open up. Imagine you push something down, your body is helping to support the moves, the stability. And then maybe touch down. Don't stop breathing. If you have a little activity in your foot, it's easier in the right foot. Okay, and then grab inside if you want and stretch your leg. Good, leave this and reverse cross. Torso is turning. Down and up. Go down to the side left and to the right and again to the left and to the right and then you turn back place your or lift your right foot and place it on the ground let your arms drop. Hmm, and relax for a moment and feel your body in space. Where are you in space? In the connection to the ground. Feel the air above your crown and feel yourself in between that. Feel your space where you stand, where you are. Relax your shoulders. Come to your breath. Feel how the breath is flowing. And then open up your eyes. You can stay with your breath. And now I will show you first our little sequence um, so that you have an impression what we are going to do. And then I will guide you through the sequence. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so um, I try to translate uh, the sand salutation in a more liquid form. That's what I'm doing here with the wave salutation. You come to the top of your mat. 
Good. You put your hands in a prayer. You have your groin slightly back, so imagine you are curvy like a wave. You lift your arms up. You come into a backward bend. You reach out. You come forward with a long belly and a half forward fold. And you go around with up high. Spine rolls, half spine rolls. Put your hands to the ground. Step backwards into a downward dog. Make yourself long. Push a little bit into the heels. Now, spine rolls here. Lift, roll your spine up, vertebra by vertebra. Come forward, very round, the front of your wrists. Bend your knees, come back. Yeah, we do everything three times. Now, it's the third time. Good, you stay here. Knees sit down, top of the foot. You come into a high cobra, go with a long belly forward. Spine rolls here. Lift your chin, come back. <coughs> Lift your tail up. Step a little shorter. Knees go more to the outside. Turn the legs right. Perse. One. Two. Three. Turn back. Other side. Go to the middle, <clears throat> lift your right leg, the bicycle with the whole body moving, two, three, right foot to the front, left foot is turning, imagine you're standing on a surfing board, touching the waves. <clears throat> right forearm to the right leg, push the leg outside. Left arm stretch out, pull the hand behind your head. One, two, three. Stretch your arm to the front. Then about there behind your back. Right hand going diagonal to the right. Lift your left foot up. Bicycle. Left foot down, <coughs> lift up. Cross your wrist, so other direction. Arms here, turn your left foot so that you are in a line, high lunge. Good. Bring your hands to the floor. Put a little bit more to the back. Good. And then turn your left hip and look uh, over your right shoulder. I like that. Feel the stretch of the left wrist. Uh, Come back. Bring your right forearm down, your left. Feel the stretch here. Move the stretch. Good. And then you come back with the hands. And you bend your left leg, come back, lift your right knee up. And then you go with the right foot um, to the left arm. Yeah. yeah stretch on the right. Thigh and the leg is going down, and you sit down. Push into your right foot, lift your right ribs up, 
And here you can press Z, and if you can, yeah, you can make it turn and go back. Depending on your level you're practicing. Good. Lift up again. Right leg up to the right. Come back to the middle. Release your left hand. Then it's going to the other side. And you come back here. If you like, you can do some hopping here. Just explore, play foot. Good. <clears throat> and then you hop in front of your, or in, to, the, to your hands. Go into forward bend, half spinning rolls. And come up. Rotate. Your shoulders, roll your shoulders, your arms. Reach out to the sky, go into the back of the bend. And then you come back, let your arms sink. And relax. And then second round. <laughs> Okay, that's what we are going to practice now, our little weight salutation. Okay, get yourself ready. Come in a good hip wide position to the front of your mat. Maybe you push a little bit to the groin so that you see that the groins are soft here. Breathe your chest a little bit apart from your pelvis. Put your hands in front of your heart. Put your hands on the crown, reach out, pull your elbows up. Stretch out your arms, come into a half forward fold. Spine rolls, one, two, half spine rolls. Three, next time, you put your hands on the ground, step backwards into a down dog. And what long one? Good, like triangle. Good. Step a little bit, walk your dog. Spine rolls from the tail to the shoulders. One. Two. Three. Next time you come forward with the round ribs, let your knees sink, stay round, top of your foot to the ground, lift your chin, come forward with a long bend, push yourself up, spine rolls, two, three, next time roll up, push yourself back, Top of uh, the foot, toes on the ground, lift yourself up this time. It's a little bit smaller than the down dog. Walk it, find your expression, feel which hand has the weight. Good. Knees to the right. Turn your foot, your knees. One, two, Three, turn without a pause directly to the other side. One, two, three, come back again. Lift your left leg, but bicycle. One, two, three, put your left foot to the left side if you might. Right foot is turning, 45. Glide, let your hands glide on the surface of your mud mat. Left elbow 
for the left knee. You can turn the knee a little bit outside. Stretch your right arm out behind your head. Feel how the spine is moving away from. Reach out with the right hand, lies eight. Right arm behind your back. Left arm diagonal your head is landing softly. Cycle here. One, two, three. Right foot is landing. Come up. Circle your ribs. Other side. Good. Turn your torso and your foot so that you're in a lunge. Hands to the floor. Right hip is sinking down. You turn your right hip a little bit so that it's open up to the left side of the ceiling. And then you have a look um, over your shoulder and knee. Feel the right ribs. Come back. You can lift the knee or leave it on the floor, put your elbows down. Glide a little bit here in your stretch. Don't forget to breathe. Come up again. Bend your right leg. Maybe you have to make it a little smaller. Left knee is lifting up, come on the tips of your left fingers, stretch your left leg and you stretch your left groin, push on the right hand, see the foot coming, foot is going down and you sit down. Then push into the left foot, lift up and turn into the back bend and go back the way, tip your toes, lift up. Turn. One more time. Good. Come back. Slide your left foot to the left leg. Turn back. Push your hands. Knees apart from each other, maybe some hops. And to the top of the mat, up forward bend. And forward bend, half spirals. Roll up. Roll your shoulders. Your arms. Arms to the top. Backward bend. Let your arms sink. Hands in a prayer. And feel. Good. <laughs> I hope you like the sequence. I think we will I will do a little shorter version for this last round. Yeah. We will leave this part um, here so that we can have a little bit more of a flow experience and yeah, stay with your breath and really see that you come like really connected with your body so that you can enjoy it and you find your own impression of your movement, you know. For everybody it looks different, so find your own um, expression and stay with your breath, stay with you, you don't have to listen, so the best would be if you just use your audio and just listen. And next time maybe you put on some nice music, which I can't do here on YouTube, which makes it much more nicer. This is the way I'm practicing every day. <laughs> Good. <clears throat> Come into your stand. Check if your groins are soft. 
Your belly is long and your feet are on the ground, rooting to the ground. Put your hands in a prayer. Find your breath. Feel your breath going through your whole body, filling it with a life force energy. Put your hands on the crown. Pull elbows together, pose it slightly in the back bend. Stretch your arms and then half forward bend with a long spine. Roll up halfway and long belly down. Next time you put your hands on the floor, step back into the down dog. Come on your toes, tip of the toes, spine rolls. Next time, round ribs forward, let the knees sink. Lift your chin, come forward. Spine rolls, one, two. Three. Push yourself back and come up a little shorter than a down dog this time. Turn both knees foot to the right. One, two, three. Turn to the other side. Turn back to the middle. Lift your right leg. Cycle. One, two. Next time, come forward. Three. Turn left foot. Forty-five. Slide. Two. Three. Right elbow. Right knee. Circle your arm. One. Two. Three. Arms stretch out and behind to the back. Right arm to the right. Come up. Cycling. Left foot down. Come up again. Cross your wrist. Circle. Other side. Turn your left foot so that you are in a lounge. Hands on your crown, back bend. Stretch your arms, hands back to the mat. Right leg over the side, stretch out right leg. And right leg is going to the left. Left foot can turn a little bit. 45. Right foot is going to the ground. Left seat is going down. Push yourself up. Reach out, maybe turn. Two times more. Right hand to the flat, right foot to the mat. Twist it. And back to the middle. Neutralize it a little bit with movements. Then left foot is going up over the side. Cycle here. One, two, three. Go to the front. Turn your right foot. Slide. Two, three. Left elbow. Push in the outside. Circle your arm. Right arm, diagonal to the left. Wrap your arm behind. Left arm straight. And cycle. Right foot is landing gently. Come up. Turn your right foot. 
High Lounge. Crown hands. Yeah, push the knees forward and right back here. Lift your arms and put your hands to the ground. Left foot over the side. Turn your right foot a little bit. Push your left leg and go bring it to your behind your right shoulder. Left foot is going to the ground. Sit down and push yourself up. Turn. Two more. And last one. Right foot, good stand here. Slide your left foot back. Turn to the middle. Walk a little bit here. You can hop or walk to your hands. Half forward bend. Down, spine rolls half. Next time you roll up completely with the wrong back, roll your shoulders, your arms, enjoy this free movement. Hands up to the crown of your head. Pants Stretch your arms. Come back. Let your hands sink. I know you turn your hands forward and feel the energy flow or you put your hands in a prayer in front of your heart. And then just feel this cells in your body pulsating. Feel all the liveliness, your heart beating, your blood pumping, all this beautiful energy in your system flowing freely. And then just open your eyes, step a little bit wider. Put your hands on your above your knees. Stretch a little bit your spine. We've been quite a few back bends, so we try to neutralize this softly in our cool down. The back bends are giving you the energy, the heart opening, but it's also important to get the release afterwards so that the body is in balance. Yoga is balance, balancing the system. Good. Let your hands go down. Slide a little bit here, line eight. Good, come to the middle, let your hands slide back, push your hand, uh, the top of your hand into the floor. Try to stretch a little bit more your legs and pull your um, um, <laughs> tailbone to the tummy. Feel the stretch in your whole back and in your legs. Good, and then you come down, let your hands slide forward. And you come into a, a malasana. Here you can make yourself very round and you can put your hands, for, interlace your fingers and put it on the back of your leg. And you know, you can feel, pull yourself a little bit down so you have a stretch on your leg. You can move this if you want. Breathe into the stretch wherever you can feel it. Deepen it by breathing deep and conscious and connected through it. Slowly let your hands glide down. 
from here you can stretch your arms forward just your right or your left leg no matter what goes more to the inside so that you can sit down and you put your feet here more in this kind of angle to the front just feel here the upright sitting position and move it a little bit close your eyes and feel the movement you can circle change direction good <clears throat> stretch your right leg left leg is going a little bit more closer lift your left glute right hand is going to the right side just your left leg is touching the ground to the right and opening up to the left and then you grab your <clears throat> right knee and roll a little bit on your spine or better you grab your foot there try that and stay here and pull your foot you avoid to roll back and pull your foot it's like a plow come back change the legs left hand is going to the left and then a couple of moves here go more now into this really slowly moves after the flow yeah so that you can really that your body has the possibility to give you its own feedback of your practice at the end good <clears throat> then you grab your foot massage it a little bit and roll a little bit let's see how this goes when you stay here and pull you have a nice stretch on the lower part of your spine good and then you go back again you put your feet like this here come more in the upright position groin go a bit back here and then you stretch out reach out your arms move a little bit and then you let your um, knees go to the left and your body spiraling up and then very slowly go round when you go to the middle to the other side and again round back go to the left put your right hand to the left knee maybe you can grab your head and deepen this a little bit reach out go to the back back again to the other side left hand right knee and here deepen a little bit your spine very gently not too much power and I'll go back again make yourself round a little pass will give you a very lovely intense hug <laughs> say it for yourself thank you very much thank your body just to be with you during the practice to work together with you showing you what he needs feel your breath this closeness and then keep this feeling of closeness either you come out into your shavasana or you come into your meditation seat stay with yourself And sink again deeply into the relaxation now.
Let yourself be carried by the ground, either you're sitting or lying into your Shavasana. And don't think about anything, just let go and surrender. I will say here, thank you and namaste. Stay in your meditation of Shavasana as long as you like to have the integration. This is the most important part and I say goodbye, see you next time. Namaste.